uh, man, when I was 12, I had Chinese roommates and this is, that's a very small sample size. Don't get me wrong. But mm-hmm. according to him, culturally, they just don't like, yeah, culturally, Chinese don't like dogs, right? They don't, they don't really like the dog all up on them and stuff. Like when that dog would jump up on him and stuff, he just looked like he wanted to strangle it. Like he was like, why do you let this animal do this? You know? And he said that well, of course, it's cultural. So there's going to be some people that probably snuggle the shit out of dogs over there, I guess. But he said culturally that they don't get their dog all up in their business like that. Yeah, that's all right. Nobody wants yeah. to fucking. Not everybody wants to make out with their dog as well. There's two sides to that coin. Yeah, exactly. You ever, you ever see a lady make out with a dog? So hot. Like two, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like tongues touching that level. Oh yeah, it's where she's sucking well, the yeah. dog's tongue. Yeah, oh, of course. You know? Yeah, I, saw I mean, I do that with my dog. Have sex with the dog. <laughs> well, Got your to tongue. <laughs> and what was funny about her having sex with the dog is they, so the dog like grabs her hips aggressively. They were experienced enough at this that they had put socks on the dog's two front paws so that that he didn't like grab her with the claws and the scratchy pads of his feet. And he had kind of, you know, gentle paws to to hold her waist with. Oh, Oh my God. That's just too far, man. That's that's putting (laughs) some time, effort and money into some shit, man. That's there's a there's a middle ground between that and apparently the Chinese. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, You got to find the balance. you You can pet them, but you neither fuck them nor eat them. Yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle here. I like that's, to just hang out with that's them. That's horseshoe theory. <laughs> Fucking dogs. And- <laughs> Find where I fall on the spectrum. Apparently, it was a cultural thing, though. Um, and also, I had to translate. I was trying to translate the F word for the lady and trying to tell her I wasn't allowed to say it. Uh, that was one of the highlights of my life. And it's because I was watching on... Does anybody remember? I'm sure everybody remembers Newgrounds, man. I had no business being on Newgrounds. They had that history that. of the F word. They had the history of the F word, and I was watching it. And she came up to me and was like, what is F word? I'm not trying to make fun of her. She was learning English there. And I was like, right. I, uh, I can't tell you, but don't ask my parents either. Like, uh, well, I'm you, just going to have go, to redirect you to my uncle. You can go fuck. Or was, was she going the, the little was, light in the loafers direction? I, I don't think she was trying you to bust a move. To the best of my knowledge, she didn't really know what it was. But look, all I, I didn't really stay long in that house with them. We came home two weeks later and they'd broken all our dishes, man. It was arranged marriage. I was friends with a dude and he'd, he was friends with us for years since I was like five. He disappears to China for a month and comes back with a hot Chinese wife. We're like, okay, cool. They hated each other. So they moved in with us and they split the rent or whatever for a little while. We came home, there were broken dishes everywhere. What I got from it was I learned how to use chopsticks and don't let your dog jump on Asian people because she, she wait, 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 we, we went through this marriage really quickly. So he, he yeah. left, he came back with a Chinese wife. <laughs> went home to China for an arranged marriage. Yeah. Oh, oh, so he was Chinese too. Yeah, they were both Chinese, and he went home to China to have an arranged marriage. marriage. And I lived in a college town, Oxford, Mississippi, where Ole Miss is. So he was a student there. He goes home for his arranged marriage and brings her back. And but they, they had a baby, and they shipped the well, baby off to China to live with the grandparents. And uh, it was the cutest baby I think I'd ever seen up until that point. Now I've got a baby. Well, they and sold that buys. baby. What a bizarre. I didn't ask questions, you know, but the baby disappeared. So, Apparently it was a cultural so thing, quickly. you know. They had Every a time baby. something sketchy happened, it's a cultural wait, thing. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Are you sure they sent it anywhere? I, I I didn't see a you know a mailbox they, or a crib. You they know, they killed that baby, didn't they? I, I didn't ask questions. All I know is a few weeks was, later they said I, it's I a cultural I have another question. Thing. One more follow up. Was they it a boy it. or a girl? It was a boy. Oh, so, so much. If it was a girl, then we would definitely have case solved right here. We wouldn't need Windigoon for that one. Like it'd be one hundred percent case closed. But it's a boy, so those are a little more valued. You know, they keep those. They're, they're a little more did valued. They, I don't know what happened. Did they get cheap. divorced? Did you say that? Uh, she she ran off on them. I think I don't even think it was an actual divorce. I think she oh. was like, you know what? I'm in America. This is how they do it here. I'm just leaving. It's an so old school. I'm divorce. jumping in the car. Like and I'm pre internet divorce. You could just leave. You could just be like, I'm getting cigarettes and yeah, yeah. MySpace wasn't leave. around yet at this point. I don't think, man. I was like, right? without MySpace, MySpace you out. could move. This is a stolen joke, but you could just move like 11 miles away <laughs> and, you're, yeah, you're gone. and restart your life. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that John Mulaney? I think I, he does I, that. I don't know who it is. It's so it. true it. where he's making the point of like in 1948, <laughs> like you just want to start a new life. Hop in the car, brother. Like there's, there's, no, the way, there's no way to find you. There's there no, no you can show up in a totally different city and your not, name is, you know, Mike Stevenson. And you're like, I need a, a home loan. I'm an accountant. My name's Brett <laughs> Ethan. And they'll be like, All right, Mr. Ethan, how much money do you make a year? And you go, I make two hundred and twenty thousand and I need a home loan. And they go, Okay, we don't require a proof of income. Here's your money to buy a home, Mr. Ethan. <laughs> Would you like cash? No database. Go ahead and take this document of proof of identity to your DMV for your 
new license cart right now. Or the great whatever. step forward, like what mouse? I said. like it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or exactly. eighty million. Like eighty mouse. million will die because of it. <laughs> but it's it a, step like a good idea getting rid of those goddamn sparrows. They were eating all of our grain. Dude, that is the funniest like misappropriation of government power ever. Like. Hoisted Kill all these start. birds. They're not doing anything but greedily destroy. eating the insects on our crops. And it's like <laughs> they're destroying okay. the things that destroy our crops. Then kill all the starlings or the sparrows or whatever it was. And then it's like, turns out we needed them to eat the bugs <laughs> that are destroying our crops. Turns the out we shouldn't have thrown all the farmers in jail and put bureaucrats in charge of running farms because they don't know how to farm. Yeah, that one didn't go Lots well. Of mistakes. Who Lots could of have mistakes. seen that coming? But by the great, they're fucking good. I got a whole bag of them downstairs. I'm gonna eat them right after the show. That's like, uh, have, have you ever seen like those really funny threads of like communists on Twitter who like are out and out communists and like you have, you have to search for it, but they'll say things like, "After the communist revolution, I'm gonna be involved in communist theory." And they'll be like, "After the revolution, I'm going to draw pictures and sell them to people." And it's like. After the revolution, you're going to be deemed worthless and thrown in a work camp until you die. Like, are you retarded? Like, what, even when communism happened in the Soviet Union, what did they immediately do when they got power? They killed all the intellectuals, all the all the out of line supporters of the party. And so it was just funny seeing these people online being like, yeah, I'm a communist. And once communism is achieved, I'm going to be the guy who's high class and sits there and tells people how communism works. It's like, no, idiot. You're going to be killed by a guy who knows how it works better than you. Hey, like, this guy's a commie. Traitor. Traitor yeah. to our country. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, they'd be, they'd be like, uh, no, actually, this guy who was in favor of our revolution is actually a kulak now and should be killed for being remember, evil. Remember the Seinfeld when, when uh, the, they were yeah. <laughs> boyfriends giving that commie literature to, to Kramer and, he, and he's starting to get on board and the little midget guy is, is like, get out of there, Kramer, that commie shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's was, to uh, over. You got me blacklisted from Hop Sings? <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's great. You name name. <laughs> and then that guy she leaves. She names names, yeah. 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 She name names. <laughs>